Okay guys, this is it. This is the Stromer ST7. I'm here with Maddie, just getting a kind of an overview, a little review of the components and the background. What's different from the ST6, man? <laughs> we skipped the six, did you know that? Oh, did you? Yeah, Was yeah. it the ST5, I yeah. guess? I mean, yeah. I, why did you skip the six? I have no idea. You have to ask the HQ what's going on. There. Odd numbers only. And the four also, you know, we don't have an ST4. Really? Oh no, so, so ST1, it is. ST1, ST2, ST3, ST5, ST7. Wow. So that's a mystery to me. Thanks for helping me out with that. So you're not going crazy. If yeah, you're... exactly. But anyway, so uh, ST7, uh, the biggest thing for us is for our new line of products, we're going to have more and more with the pinion. So we have the ST2 and oh. ST3 and ST7 as a pinion. Get down and, here. Uh, wow. And the special about ST7 right now is that he has to... All the others, ST2 and ST3, they have the grip shift, and this has a 12-speed smart shift. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So is yeah. it an electronic shifting pinion? Yeah, exactly. What's with these springs and stuff, man? I've never seen this before. To be honest, you have to ask that from the engineers that made it so well. Huh. But anyway, so it's a, it's a, it's a really good system, and, and I think the whole Sturmer crew is really behind the pinion now because it's such a reliable product on, on, on e-bikes. Well, good weight distribution, and then your chain line or belt in this case, yeah. so you have that clean, that quiet Gates carbon belt drive that's going on. Maybe the spring has to do with, it looks like we've got, uh, yeah, it is. So this oh, is yeah. pushing the belt up, so you've got, you don't have to have a sliding rear dropout. That's what, yeah, that, is. Yeah. That's what that is. And then this motor, is this 750 like- 750 Sino, Sino 2 is the, is the motor that we have on it. 750 like, Sino 2. But you always get that same kind of a Sturmer feeling. It's a very familiar bike for ex Sturmer owners. Yep. You have the same kind of a feel. Obviously a lot, lot power there. And then another significant thing that is new to the to, uh, compared to our other models is the battery size. So you have a 1440 watt hour battery, so you can see what kind of a beast oh, it is. wow, well so, over a kilowatt hour. Yeah, like 1.5 exactly. almost. Yeah, yeah. so oh you gosh. have a big one right here, and that obviously the down tube is a little bit more bulky. Pretty burly. But then at the same time, you know, some people feel intimidated by by the heaviness of it, but I mean, it's right, it's really light, and you have that familiar strummer feel. And the comfort. I don't know if this is stock, but you got that Ren inverted suspension fork yeah. up here. Yeah, and also you can get a suspension seat post on it. Of well. course, that's, a, yeah, like, what are the body floats or the connect? Yeah, connect. connect. Yeah. Those are excellent. Yeah, excellent. Um, I, of course, I love the, the fenders on these. These are tubular aluminum alloy, and it's actually connected to the lowers on the suspension fork, so it travels with the wheel. You get that really tight, yeah, basically, you're just not going to get as wet. You don't have a rattling fender. Really burly on the back as well. Integrates with the rack time rack, so it is a structural support for that rack. Very clean and kind of sleek design, as you're used to seeing. We got the Supernova lights, five LEDs in the rear, and then up at the headlight, we got the running light, which, does it still have the USB port thing no, up there? No, we actually have a USB-C right here. Oh, smart. So you can plug it here. You can still charge your phone, and obviously you can, you can mount it right there. I wondered, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then you've got these like proprietary handlebars here. Exactly. Do you still have like a couple different versions where you could have like an upright or an aggressive? For the ST7 or ST5 we don't, but uh, for, for ST2 especially, which is the, that one right there, the yeah. pinion model there, that has a lot more flexibility or adjustability on that. Fantastic one. Here. Locking ergonomic grips, you mentioned the electronic shifting pinion, yeah. uh, and then there's the horn, you got the assist levels, and this is like a touch screen if I remember yeah, right. This yeah. is the touch screen. So, uh, and then another new thing here is that you can obviously see the gear that Oh, yeah. and you can set this up because smart shift you can sit, set it up in any way so you can think okay this is going up and this is going down or the other way around and then when you ride it you can set it up that like if I ride this bike right now and then I go to a stop it automatically goes to it. Oh I love that yeah it resets yeah. you so you don't have to exactly. remember that's exactly. great yeah. that is so cool and you can only do that with an internally geared hub or the pinion that he's talking about. We got bottle cage bosses right there. Yeah, it's, a, it's aluminum frame and, and, and it comes in, in basically three colors. We have the gold one, which is the launch color. Oh, that's what I was wondering, Stormer yeah. Stormer always goes a little bit wilder with the launches. For sure. And this is the standard uh, dark platinum. Uh -huh. And then we just signed up a deal with the Alingi Red Bull Racing Team. We're actually their official uh, uh, e-bike supplier. Wow. So we're gonna have a special edition this kind of like navy blue Alingi Red Bull bike uh, oh, coming sweet. later later this year uh, to the U.S. Only Wonderful. 24 of those, so I'm going to, I think we're going to... There's only going to be 24? 24 in the U.S. this year, yes. so maybe next year we're going to get some more. I wonder if we'll see them using those as like pit bikes or something at the I races. Know, know. Gonna... That is a sweet partnership, man. And, and thank you for keeping me on track here. It's just so cool to see kind of the latest and greatest with, with Stromer. 
uh, TRP hydraulic disc brakes. It looks like, um, is this like analog brake up front as well? Yeah, and then there's ABS. So uh, that's another new thing for the, for the Sturmer bikes. Uh, the SD3 and SD, um, SD5 and SD7, they, you have an uh, ABS brake. Yeah. SD3 is an optional, but as a standard for, for an SD5 and SD7, it comes as a standard. So I've used this before and it's, it's very impressive. You just don't end up locking out the front wheel, which could lead to sliding. And so this is another like automotive level yeah. kind of piece. The Pirelli tires, extra thick, almost like a moped tire or something. So they're gonna be a little bit more durable yeah. and give you that, that nice contact. One thing I always complain about is the kickstand position because you get that pedal lock. However, it's supporting a fairly you know heavy bike. Yeah. So I, I can kind of understand why they put it there. Quad piston calipers front and rear with large 203 millimeter rotor right there. And it looks almost like ice tech from Shimano or something where you have the different materials, aluminum, lighter weight, dissipates heat and then you have the carbon steel outer just fantastic thank you so much you know and you guys have dealers all over the place so yeah. if people want to test ride these or get that support you know yeah, you're, yeah. you're paying a bit more for these is, is there a price point on this, this or is around is 14 grand 14 grand and, yeah and, and it's an expensive bike, what about but at the, the same time what about the red bull one that it, that's around 15 15 okay yeah, i mean we're good getting up there but then at the same time for many people they use it as a commuter it's a replacement of their car totally then the price starts making sense. Did you say fifteen thousand for the for the? Yeah, it's 15. only a thousand bucks more for yeah. the. And then you get a nice edition. little cool Alingi bike uh, bag also. Oh my gosh! On top of that, so oh. stay tuned for those. I'm actually surprised it's not more. That's very. I can't wait to see that one. Yeah, it's a cool looking bike. Thanks, Maddie. Thanks. Good job.